So who have you heard of on YouTube? Swarth Kitty. Well, yeah, obviously she is a babe. What do you mean batting out of my league? So I take it it wasn't reading books like this. <laughs> I'm just this told you. I don't know. Let's see, shall we? Let's read our next up. All the band have different looks, style, and personality. But though much around the band was calculated and carefully planned, their image was not. No, says Nigel. That is just a natural thing. They're all very different guys, and I encourage them to have and develop their own personalities. I didn't want them to be clones. No, it didn't come from there. No. It didn't come from there. Yeah, but was Nigel the storyteller, or was he the ego? Mm, in Take That, I think Nigel was the ego. Well, he was the manager, wasn't he? But the ego and the storyteller is the same thing. But yeah. Okay, on a slightly more serious note. Mm -hmm. Why I was watching that video now is um, that Ruth's... doesn't matter who Ruth is, but she's a friend. Anyway, you, we were talking the other day about the Celestine Prophecy, yeah? Well, we talked about synchronicity. We didn't yeah. Know, yeah, well, sorry, yeah, Celestine Prophecy. Just had a very quick look. Ruth, we found a video on YouTube. Oh, yeah, and then I, looked on, then I looked on Wikipedia to try and sort of make more sense of it. Don't know if that was me think, thinking that or the, my storyteller or how it's all the ego. I don't know, I'm confused. The point being, there's a whole thing about synchronicity and coincidences and do coincidences happen for a, a reason and basically, and you had a fair point on this, that what I observed wasn't synchronicity, but I went to see a, a band on Sunday. I wouldn't, no, 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 Steve, Steve, I didn't label it in either way, I didn't say it wasn't synchronicity, I just said now that you've started to think about it, you'll notice these things, but carry on, I didn't say either way, it's for you to think whether it's synchronicity or not. Well, when I said I was going to do a video about this synchronicity, you said, well, hold on a minute, you might offend the synchronicity out there. No, what? I didn't say that. I said, be very careful what you th what you come out and say, this is definitely synchronicity, while you've only had one or two conversations about it, because there's some people out there that are really firm believers in synchronicity, and if you come out and say, um, you know, I... This was a prime example. This, this was it, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, this is definitely it, when you know you're only at the beginning stages of learning about it, you could offend more people than... Right. But those kind of people shouldn't be easily offended, and they shouldn't be the people who are haters on YouTube anyway, because they should be more enlightened than that. But we all fall down. Would you like to explain my thing about the synchronicity? Yeah, I'll shut up now. No, no, all it was, all it was, I went to see a band in the UK on Sunday night called Supergrass. Very good, uh, very entertaining, been a fan of the band for about ten years. Didn't They've not been in the mainstream for quite some time in the UK now, have they? Yeah, they've been on the periphery. Yeah. They? They've been doing all right. Uh, the point was, I subscribed to someone called Swarth Kitty. She hasn't posted a video for about three, four months. Quite some time. And anyway, I watched the band on Sunday, logged onto YouTube on Monday, and then she's posted a video saying something like, ah, do you remember Supergrass? Which, at least to me, is something that, well, hold on a minute, that's all a bit odd. You know, mm. I've seen a band... Last, last night, night, who haven't been around for ages. Yeah, and then here's someone on YouTube that I watch when they post a video, post their first video in about, I would say, so many months, and it's talking, or at least the, the title of it is referring to a band I saw the day before. Yeah. And I think what I was saying to you was, was that synchronicity, but you came back and it was a fair point, I think what you said was, synchronicity is more about coincidences that perhaps more have more meaning. Whereas I'm, a message, but, but just I'm, I'm saying that, we couldn't see the message. No, but I'm, I'm saying in this instance, you know, that, that it's two unrelated things. You know, Suave Kitty, I wasn't thinking about her when I went to see Supergrass, and she certainly wouldn't have been thinking about me when she posted this video. And, you know, although, you know, I've watched her videos when, you know, being on YouTube, I don't know if she knows me particularly well. So I'm just saying that I, I, I actually agree with what you're saying, is mm -hmm. that... There are there always be coincidences. They're meaningful coincidences. Yeah, and this wasn't meaningful. I think it just was a coincidence. But an odd saying, coincidence. You're saying it's not meaningful, and I thought at the time that's not meaningful. Well, but no, what, how it's do just we a... know it's not though? Because it could be that Suave Kitty's got a good message for you. It could be that we talked about synchronicity and you needed to see synchronicity as a concept, so that's why that happened. Or it could just be a coincidence, or it could be that we're talking about Swarth Kitty in this video, so it will prompt her to do a video response to this. We don't know any of these things. She doesn't watch my video, she won't see it. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a... <laughs> but whatever it is, if, if you believe in synchronicity and you believe in the, the divineness of the universe, then the next step will be, in my mind, already in place anyway. So the next step of the synchronicity cycle will be in place anyway. we just yeah. got to observe it and take note of it. The big thing with synchronicity is taking notice of it so you know where your next steps are. 
I still think kind of on the simplicity is, and I think you agreed as well, is that if you start looking for coincidences, you will see them. And I think I said to you before, and I, I, it's a real pain, I can't remember what the example was, but I remember becoming aware of something, whether it was a song title or a band or a concept or whatever it was, and then once I became aware of this thing, I was seeing it everywhere. Now, whatever it was, and the story would be a lot better if I can remember what it actually was, well, I'm sure it's been there all along, but I came across something and all of a sudden I sort of thought, well, how have I been missing this for the last 10, 20 years? I agree. If you're conscious of something, you become more aware of it and you'll notice it all around you. But at the same time, synchronicity goes beyond that. Synchronicity is about noticing these things and noticing the message they have for you. So it may not just be about, you know, say you learn a new word, you're increasing your vocabulary and you learn a new word and then you suddenly... You well, see I learn a new word, word, synchronicity, and I'm seeing it everywhere now. Exactly, but now you're seeing it, you want to learn more about it, so it's not just about the word. It's like, you have to experience something to believe it, and that's... Sorry, what was the guy who did the video? I do apologise. Noltz. Noltz. That's what Noltz was saying. Did I say that right? <laughs> no, that is, yeah. Don't be offended, Noltz. Sorry. <laughs> no, we liked your video, and that's the main thing, and he'll appreciate that. He He's this kind of guy. But Eckhart Tolle has got a big thing. He's like, don't think something, feel it. And that's what Noltz was saying at the end of the video. Don't think a response, feel a response. Because Eckhart Tolle's got a good point. He's like, his favourite example is honey. He's like, you can look at honey, you can smell honey, you can write PhDs about the chemical structures of honey, you can think about the structure of the word honey, but until you've experienced honey for yourself, you, you cannot feel honey, you can only think honey. And so with synchronicity, you can think about it all you like and analyse it all you like, but you have to feel it in your life and feel if it's working for you to feel if you believe it to be true. Right, I think I've finally got a sensible thought on this topic because for most of this I've been quite lost. All they can see is the cloud. So this big elephant beyond the clouds, they don't understand. And so I thought that was quite a good message for us. And also there was some quite dark moments. Have you been well. practising this? You're talking for your country. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> have, you, have you been practising this all day? When I said to you yesterday, hey, let's do a, a movie review of it, or I think it was actually your, your idea. Have you been rehearsing this? No. Right, carry on. Yes, you're saying. I, I've probably sort of cut you off in mid-flow there. And there was some quite... <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah.